Hello to all my lively ladies, you're very welcome back. My name is Trish and you're very welcome to my YouTube channel. So today we are going to do simple and effective strength and cardio exercises. And I'm going to be using, I have it as light dumbbells, so most of it will be done with light dumbbells. But just for a few of the exercises, I'm going to increase my weight a little bit. So if you have a variety of weights, Grab them now, have them handy, and also have your water handy because we are going to have a little water break halfway through today's workout. Good, let's get warmed up now and I'll talk you through what we're going to do today. Just stepping the leg behind, that's it. Bringing in those arms out in front, nice and strong. Contracting those muscles, even in the warm up. Good. Now we're going to do 14 exercises, okay? and uh, I'm going to do two rounds today. So we'll run through the 14 exercises, have a little sip of water, come back and then repeat them for a second round. Okay, 15.45 is your workout sequence today. So 15 seconds to, to rest or transition and 45 seconds to do the work. And you can always increase the work time and reduce your rest time. That's, that's an option for you as well. Let's rest the hands on the hips here and just take it into a little bit of a wider step touch good well done good and you can move off the spot or stay on the spot if you prefer just in case you're lacking space good now let's crisscross those arms well done drive those elbows up that's it and out to the side and feel your back muscles working here it's important you feel what muscles you're working and you're not just just uh, throwing the arms around the room. That's it, engage. Good, feel a nice stretch in your shoulders. That's it. And if you're liking the video, I'd really appreciate a thumbs up. As soon as the video goes live, it's great if we can get those uh, thumbs up or those likes coming in, because that really just, that first four, 24 hours of a video being released on YouTube really sends signals to the algorithm to push the video out a little bit more, promote it a little bit more. And then more ladies can find the workouts like yourselves and get fit and keep fit like yourselves. So if you really do like this workout, press that thumbs up button and let's help the channel to grow. I really appreciate that. Okay, let's rest out the arms now. Good, four to go with the legs. Three, two, now some heel digs out the front. Heel, cross your body. That's it, good, X in front. X and X, good, well done. Big deep breaths for me now. Let's hear that deep breathing. Good work. Well done. Now we do have some lunges coming up today. So don't worry, a curtsy lunge. If you can't do any deep ends of the knee, you can do a step back. So that's perfect. Good. I'll include modifications with some of those more advanced moves. Let's punch across now. Punch, punch punch that's it good getting that heart rate up feeling a little bit of sweat starting to flow now good work four to go keep those legs going three two last one rest your hands let's count out the legs four three now I want you to keep the legs about shoulder distance apart two and one now let's do a few little seats and circle the arms Great. Get all those cracks out of those joints. We don't have to be going into a deep squat here. Just a little bounce of the hips there, bounce of the knee. Good. Now, other way. Around we go. That's it. And two more. And last one. Let's circle those ankles now because we have a few exercises that we'll be moving off the spot. There'll be fast directional change in that, like just moving one side of the room to the other. So it's nice to get those ankles warmed up. It's wonderful ankle mobility as well. Switch over if you haven't done so. Good, now I'm going to show you the first exercise. You keep going there switching with your ankle rotations or you can even do a nice little stationary march if you prefer. Okay, now the first one is very basic. I'm going to be using light weight for this one, okay? I have a dumbbell snatch coming up and a dumbbell swing. So I'm going to go up to my three kilogram for that one. Okay, so if you want to do the same thing, if you have your weights, have, have everything handy and your water. Right, little marches. And then we're going to do a continuous shoulder press. Okay, so we're going to get an upper body burn, really, 
<laughs> very quickly here. Okay, will we go for it? All right, 15 seconds to get ready. Now again, you can go straight away. You don't have to be taking that rest if you don't want it. Okay. Just marching it out, just getting those legs ready. Okay, let's go. Reaching up. Now, continuous shoulder press. So I like to call it continuous because you're not allowing the upper half to get a break. So really punching out the ceiling. If you're not able to go above your head, just bring it down a little bit lower, down in front of your chest. That's it, good. You can mix between the two as well, up high, down low. Just again, keeping move off the spot as well. Sorry, I just do that automatically. Don't lean back now, watch your back. That's it, keep a nice straight spine for me. Good, oh, this really is a shoulder burn. Keep breathing now, use your breath. That's it, lifting those legs up and down. Good work, well done. Now holding the weights out in front, you can go with your two weights here if you want. If you have a heavier weight, you can put it out in front as well. So we're going to squat and both side knee raise. Okay, let's go for that one. Squat, knee, squat, other leg. Good. Again, this is going to get your heart rate up because it's very dynamic, very ballistic. Sit down. When you're bringing the knee up, now I want you to really crunch out those abs for me. That's it, get your abdominals worked as well there. Good, in a standing position. That's it, try not to lean to the side. So you're using your obliques to stop you from tipping over. So it's a great exercise for those waistline muscles. That's it, sit down, reach, keep that chest up for me. Good work, okay. Now we have some step backs with back row. So stepping back, not forcing the heel in, keeping that heart rate up there with the legs moving. And then we're gonna do some back rows. Now you can go high if you want. That'll make it quite challenging. Or you can do a back row down low. Okay, if you're fatigued now from the last couple of moves, stay down low. Now if you want to really challenge yourself, reach up, pull down. Watch your back here. If you're feeling strain in your back, Bring your arms down a little bit lower. Do a low row. That's it, good. Well done. Good work. You can really feel those muscles there between the shoulder blades and even just below the shoulder blades. Working hard here. And if you're fatiguing, down low. That's fine. Feel those muscles again. Retracting the shoulder blades and gently squeezing the shoulder blades together there. Good work. Now let's keep the heart rate up a little bit. Now we have an alternating side step. Okay. So we're going to do four and punch the arm across the body for four, okay? And then we'll switch to the other side. We're alternating. All right, one, two, three. Now get ready to change. One, two. Let's see some power in the punches. One, two, three, four, good, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, again, not leaning too far to the side, using the obliques to control that, two, three, four, good, one, two, three, four, punch across, that's it, good, on this side, one, two, Three, we'll just finish it. Four, okay, we get nice even numbers. All right, now we have an alternating pendulum. Now let's take the rest, or keep just get the legs moving, because this is gonna be an arm burn as well. Okay, so pendulum again. Lean slightly to the side, but don't overly lean, okay? Now arms. Push up to the ceiling, just slightly out to the side. Squeeze out your glute medius while you're there. Good, punch, you can slow this down to bring your heart rate down if it's come up a little bit too high or to really feel those muscles working there. Glute medius are those muscles that run along the outside of your leg. Good, your hip, we don't really have hip muscles, they're more of an extension of the glutes really. 
the glute maximus lies over them. They don't get a lot of work, so it's good to get them into your workouts. Last one, okay. Now we have the dumbbell snatch. Now I'm gonna go up for a little bit heavier for this because this is a super, super hip extension exercise. So one side, reaching up, okay? Reach up, watch your back, keep your back flat. Reach up, stop here around ear level. Now if you're not able to go above the head with your dumbbell or in general, just come up to the front here, just in front of your face. See what works for you there, or even down low in front of your tummy. Now, like a kettlebell swing, we have to just snap out those hips a little bit. Good, bring the hips forward. Good, don't lean back. Reach up, use the other arm to balance the body. Good, that's great abdominal exercise here. Great for the hips, keeping the hips healthy. Breath out, breath in. Well done, okay. Now, that was very stationary, so it would have allowed the heart rate to come down somewhat. Just gonna do a little step touch because we have the other side to do now. Okay, let's get into position. Legs about shoulder distance apart, abs engaged. Reach up. Now the next move is a dumbbell swing. I'm gonna stay with a heavier weight for that one because again, it's a super powerful hip exercise. So it's very, very much the back of the body working here with the snatch and the swing, but they will hit the abdominals as well because we are doing, essentially doing a crunch here, bringing the rib cage down to the hips, crunching out the abs. Good, well done. Great shoulder mobility, what a lovely stretch. Good. Reach up. Well done, great. I hope you're using your breathing to help you lift the weight. Now, dumbbell swing. You keep marching there, or step touching. Drive the bell underneath your, your body. Good, and up, out in front. Don't worry too much about the arms. This is very much a glute exercise and hamstring. Good, keeping the back flat. Drive your hips forward. Clench your butt cheeks a little bit. Good, try not to lean back. Okay, keep your back flat. Good. Now this bell, even this bell is a bit light for me, so it does tend to kind of turn at the end. So it's great if you have a weight that's heavy enough to control that. We've got to work with what we have. Good, feeling the abs working. Keep going, last few seconds. Great hip exercise again. Wonderful hip mobility there with those three in a row. Okay, let's go back to the small weights. Now we have our one, one side, one side leg curtsy, okay? So stepping back if you don't want to do deep bends of the knee, okay? So curtsy, bicep curl. Curtsy, bicep curl. Now remember, step it back into a bicep curl if you don't want to get down deep. Now what you can do is put your weights down, have a chair to one side, and try and go into even a little bend of the knee, just to introduce it to your body, like that, and using the chair to help you balance. And again, as I always say, don't, don't uh, worry about squats and lunges. They are not bad for your knees. They are great for strengthening your body, your lower half and it's only when they're done incorrectly with incorrect form that you'll get problems with them okay right well done let's do the other side now just step touching keeping the heart rate elevated good it comes up there um comes up there quite high with these big leg moves <laughs> They really do uh, need a lot of blood circulating to them. That'll bring your heart rate up a little bit. Curl it. Good. Well done. And I always say to people, they should spend at least one of their workouts in the week doing a maintenance workout, as I like to call it. And that is doing exercises that'll help bring their spine into a correct alignment 
things like back rows um, seated shoulder press any exercise like that will work on your posture muscles particularly the upper half because we do tend to get into rounded shoulders pos positions um, with our jobs and sitting a lot now we have our giant step overs one two three sit and reach okay let's go with that one two three a little seat in the middle here reach up good this is a nice move off the spot get your heart rate up move but yeah, I was just saying their maintenance workout at least once a week spend time doing exercises like Pilates or yoga that'll help you um, with your posture and your mobility that's why I like to spend a lot of time on my cool downs I spend about 20 minutes cooling down after a workout good because people who have their postures are in uh, incorrect positions they tend to have the problems with their knees it's not so much because you do lunges it's what you're doing every day every day okay not that you do a lunge every now and then in a workout so you've got to think logically about it okay now side lunge or suitcase squat or narrow squat other side or you can just step out to the side all right so here we go now we're another lunge a side lunge this time not bad for the knee at all good as long as you keep that body in neutral incorrect alignment good and every time I do a cool down every time I I'm not lying to you I spend time doing my cobras down on the floor Superman where I'm working on those back muscles I need to I need to do that otherwise I get terrible upper back tension because believe it or not most of my work is spent you know working out working in front of laptops or phones and sitting trying to come up with new exercise plans so people have this misconception that you're always exercising okay wide knee raise pull the arms down wide go out to the side you don't have to go that high now little knee raises is perfect okay let's get those legs going now again don't lean too far to the side like that just a slight bend use your abs to keep the torso nice and upright pull your belly button to your spine and this is going to really work your torso let's add some arms good punch up a bit like what we did with the pendulum reach up hold down good up and down punches next keep breathing for me this will get your heart rate up because all four limbs are going through a full range of movement here good punch out that ceiling that's it you're doing it come on stick with it this is a tough one watch your back make sure you're not leaning back now right up and down punches down we go up down and up now you can join me if you don't want the rest or you can take that rest or you can even take longer rest if you need an extra five or ten seconds that is fine you do what you need to do now you don't have to go into a deep squat here again little squat will do reach up you don't have to reach up over your head you can just reach up here so you're just decreasing the range of movement which will decrease the intensity of the exercise good keep your chest upright for me that's it down and reach we're going to have a little break now just as soon as we hear the beeper come back and repeat it again we're we'll starting off with those small marches continuous shoulder press so you might be glad of a little water break now <laughs> all right good work okay let's have a little sip looking forward to a little drink and i will see you back here in a moment hello everyone you're very welcome back now let's get on with round two so have your weights handy and have a selection of handy or if you want to try this one body weight this time go for that if you're feeling a bit fatigued now at this stage okay 15 seconds or you can go straight away all right enjoy your round two <clears throat> you might find that you have a lot more mobility this round okay a little bit more flexibility let's get the legs going anyway get ready for those shoulders on the beep there we go right continuous shoulder press watch your back here now if you're feeling strained bring the weights down a little lower 
Make sure your tummy muscles are engaged. So you're just drawing your belly button to your spine. Little posterior tilt to the pelvis. Sorry, this way. <laughs> okay, that will really help to engage your abs, your tummy muscles. Good, those little tweaks and tips really do help. That's it. Bring those weights up to the ceiling if you can. Come on, you can do this. Round two. Squat knee raise next. Keep going, come on. This is tough, I know it is really tough. I found it tough round one. Use your breathing to get you through it. Always remember your breathing will help you get through some moves. I'll stay with these weights, they worked well round one. It's your squat, knee, squat, and knee. Okay, abs engaged. Let's go. Squat, knee, knee. Good, now try not to fall forward here. Little seat in the middle if you're not able for deep squatting. Good, up, and up. Good work. Sit down and up. Good and up. That's it. Good. Sending that tailbone down to the floor. Feeling the abs working here. Good. Make sure your belly button now is nice and engaged and pull towards your spine there. Good work. Well done. Okay, step back, back rows. Now here we're going to burn out the arms a little bit. Okay, just march and keep the heart rate up. Step backs, just in case you're not familiar with it or you've forgotten it. Okay, let's go with that now. Get those legs down first. Now, are you ready? A little bit of an upper body burn here. Okay, so you can pull back here, really feeling the muscles between your shoulder blades working. Or you can pull down. This is a little bit more advanced. Lean slightly at the waist, watch your back. Great. You should feel those muscles in around the shoulder blades working hard. Retract your shoulder blades gently. That's it, keep going, come on, this is really tough. Good, if you're tiring again, retract those shoulder blades slightly and really feel the muscles there working behind you. That's a lovely move, that one there, okay. Now we have that alternating side step for four. So four one side, punching across the body, then we're switching legs. Okay, Ooh, heart rate's up. Good, one, two, three, four. Great change, one, two, three, four, and over. Two, three, four, and switch for two, three, Four, that's it, good, come on, give me some power there. With that upper half, one, two, three, four. That lower half is just repeating the pattern. And four, over, one, two, three, four, good. Come on, keep going. Two, three, four, you're doing it. This is great work. One, two, let's finish this one here. Well done, okay, I always like to finish out a move. Okay, now, alternating pendulum. So we're gonna be working those arms again now. Next couple of exercises, we're gonna be working those arms. Slight bend to the side, but don't overly, overly bend, okay? Get those legs first, squeeze out that water out of that sponge there. Good, now you ready? Let's go with those arms. Reach up. That's it, you're great. Looking good. Come on, you can do this. Reach, pull down. Keep going, come on. I know this is tough, I know it's tough, I can feel it. Need to focus here, focus on your breath. Breathe out, just there now, a few seconds and you're done with it for today. Well done, okay. Ooh, that was tough. That was tough. I was forgetting about the legs with that one. Right, let's go with the snatch. I'm going to start opposite side this time. On the left. Okay, abs pulled in now, feeling tension around your center. Good. 
Well done. I love this exercise. It is just wonderful for training your tummy muscles and it also hits the posterior chain. Now the muscles that run behind you there, your glutes, hamstrings, lower back. Just don't lean back. Now keep a nice straight spine. Remember you've got a broomstick down your exercise top. Good. Use that opposite arm for support there. Keep going. Slight bend of the knees. Nearly there. Use your breath. Breathe in. Expel out that air. Don't be afraid to force out that air. That really helps you to lift weight. Okay. All right, that was very stationary. So my, my heart's not beating extremely fast, but I want to keep my legs moving anyway. All right, into position. Abs engaged. Good. Changing sides. Good. Really stretch that arm. Long ear by the earlobe. Sorry, long arm by the earlobe. Good. And stretch up. Dumbbell swings next. How did you get on with that one? If you, have, if you have never done it before, it's a bit of a strange one. It takes a little bit of practice to get right. Good. Very much like this exercise here. Hip extension. Good. About 10 seconds left. Stretch up. Use that other arm there for balancing the body. Well done. Bring it down safely. Always bring it down close to your midline of your body, not out here where you could stress, stress out your ligaments and tendons. Okay, so you're pushing back, keeping your back flat, and then driving forward with your hips. Okay, that's it, good. Now really focusing on the hips driving forward here. Keeping the back flat, good. Again, feeling the glutes working here. Wonderful hip extension. Bringing the ribs down towards the legs or the hips, working the abs at the front. Good. I like to keep my head upright, really, with this one. I do see people dropping the head down, but it can make you feel a little bit nauseous. So keeping the head it also encourage, encourages you to keep the back flat. Good. Less than 10 seconds. Come on. Snapping out those knees a little bit. Don't worry. It's not bad for the knees. Getting all that oxygen flowing around those Ligaments in your knee is great. Okay, now curtsies. Speaking of worrying about the knees, don't worry about squats and lunges now like we spoke about. Okay, let's go the other leg first this time. So curtsy, well, my, my, my mobility round two is far, far better. Good. I always feel like I need a football pitch <coughs> size or some amount of space with the curtsies. That's it. Curl. For me to perform them correctly. Curl. Move over a little bit. Back. Remember you're stepping back now if you, just say you're even fatigued. Okay. And curl. We'll do the other leg next. Step it back and curl. You might be able to go into even a mini curtsy. That's fine too. And curl. Well done. Okay, other side, other side. Just keeping that heart rate up a little bit. Okay. And remember when you're curling, tuck in those elbows. That's it. Keep your elbows safe. Let's go. So back and tuck the elbows into their little pockets there. I always imagine I have little pockets in my waist. Good. And back. Curl up. Now when you're stepping back and going into a bend of the knee keep your chest upright okay don't look at the floor look up find a little fixed spot in front of you keep looking at it and just keep imagining a straight spine okay picture in your head your spine stays straight it doesn't round or it doesn't curve that's it five seconds looking forward also works on your balance well done. Okay, now three giant step overs, the sit and reach. Okay, oh, those last two minutes went quick, quick enough. Right, three giant step overs. Get ready. Let's go. One, two, 
three sit and thrust if you don't want to thrust the weights over your head leave them on your shoulders and do a little seat okay one two three if my pace is too fast for you just slow it down make the move smaller okay don't worry if we get out of sync as long as we're kind of doing the same thing each 45 second interval that's fine okay we can follow along there as well but like that good reach because i know from your comments that you're getting really fit out there good you're seeing great progression that's it and don't always worry it doesn't uh, progression i'll just talk you through the next one yeah the side lunges or sides excuse me side stepping suitcase squat or narrow squat other side okay well done keep those feet moving that's it over we go lunge don't worry um about saying oh i'm I, my reps are the same or what my weights are the same progression can also be mean that you are your heart your resting heart rate is dropping that's also another way you can progress with your fitness okay if your resting heart rate you notice if you wear a fitbit or a heart rate monitor that when you're resting you're sitting and your heart rate's uh, five or ten beats slower than it was say two months ago that's progression okay the lower we can get that resting heart rate the better okay because that means your heart's not working as hard throughout your lifetime and in theory you should last longer okay all right now where are we yes the wide knee raises and pull the arms down so out wide if you have the mobility to bring it up to about waist or hip level that's great if not just work on that and start off down low let's go good now we go with the arms we're nearly finished for today so let's burn them out a little bit good punch the corners of the room good work bring the elbows down to your hips get a full range of movement there for your shoulders a little bit into your back good come on keep going last two exercises will burn out that upper half you can speed up here if you want to if it is challenging the balance too much take it slowly bring the weights down lower that's it good abs engaged come on you can do it punch out the ceiling for me feeling the shoulders getting fatigued okay Ooh, gotta march after that one now up and down punches so legs about shoulder distance or a little wider depending on how much weight <laughs> space you need to get those weights between your legs okay little ones for anyone that doesn't want to go into deep squats or put weights above your head want a full full range of movement see if you can go down into a bit of a deeper squat chest up chest up that's it look forward go don't round your spine good work reach up reach up that's it and reach drop your hips and reach come on you're doing great this is the last exercise and you've done a wonderful job good last few seconds and reach well done great work wonderful wonderful work that was great 14 minutes done excellent okay let's just do a little march just to gradually bring the heart rate down and a big thumbs up to you for that one and if you're liking the workouts i'd appreciate a thumbs up as well and like i said just at the beginning of the video as soon as you can hit that like button as soon as this video goes live the more likes i get the more i'll be pushed out that's great it allows the channel to grow but it also allows me and it lets me know that you're liking these type of workouts okay all right let's go forward and let's go back good just again bringing the heart rate down those last two exercises really brought my heart rate up there good let's open wide stretch up and now side to side and again up over the head down to shoulder distance uh, shoulder height side to side reach side to side reach good side to side 
feeling a nice little bit of work there in your ribs in around that waist area good side to side and reach up and side to side let's do two more reach good cross and cross it's like you're trying to touch both sides of your room and this is the last one good now let's stretch across now I'm just gradually bringing the heart rate down here getting a little few stretches for the full body there but if you want a more extensive cool down I will link up my cool down playlist you'll find it underneath the video here in the description box okay so they're there for your convenience you'll find a link there good make sure you do your cool downs I know I say it a lot but it's um out of all the components of fitness it's very very neglected so get your cool downs in good a lot of us spend time on cardio, strength, but we seem to neglect that uh, flexibility and mobility part of the workout. And it's so important, to, again, for your posture even, to make, you, make sure you are um, performing the exercises in the correct position. You're not, your body's not out of alignment. Good. Well done. Let's do two more. And last one let's take it into some around the world reach up now do this slowly because in case it makes you feel a little bit dizzy feel a lovely stretch this is a wonderful wonderful stretch again i'm not holding the stretch it's not a static stretch it's more um movement involved more mobility but it's a great move for your spine that's it good and it's one i do every time i finish working out good don't have to go down so low if you can't now let's go the other way line up here in the middle before you move make sure you feel tightness or tension in around your belly button that tells me you're engaging your core muscles good up to the top that's it well done you're feeling those hamstrings I don't know it's just me with the kind of do I, I do tend to have tight tightness there in the hamstrings and let's finish it out here and well done to you well done you did a wonderful workout double thumbs up to you for today drink your water because i know i'm my sweat is flowing here and i will see you really soon have a lovely day